Hey, what's up, guys? It's Boy the Chief, aka the Chef, aka the Soggy Paper Towel, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars. Where inside of today's video, we're gonna be checking out the newest brawler who's releasing very soon inside of Brawl Stars, which is gonna be Sandy. Now, already there's a little bit of a wildfire going on in the community because they think Sandy's gonna be super strong. I tend to agree that Sandy seems pretty good. And uh, let's go and do a stat breakdown on Sandy, show him off inside of a couple of battles, and give you guys my best tips and tricks as well as comparisons to other brawlers. Now, kicking this off, Sandy's HP sits at a beefy 5600 trophies at max rank i mean if you want to look at comparable brawlers he's definitely not squishy like someone like a spike take a peek at shelly shelly's at 5040 as a pretty tanky brawler i mean rosa probably has the most yes yeah, 7500 but guys even someone like a daryl sandy's pretty close and sandy does have decent range and decent distance sandy's attack most reminds me of poco because it has that splash damage and it deals actually a similar but pretty actually like 30 percent more or more doing 1260 damage per shot I want you guys to see Sandy in action. So let's go and get into a match. But first, star power number one is called Rude Sands. With Sandy Super, which is a sandstorm, it damages enemies if you have this star power. It does 200 a second if they're inside of it. Really useful if you want to use this because it has a massive, massive range for the circle. And uh, let's just hop into this right now, guys. All right, kicking this one off, we've got a Pam right here. We can just start spraying and praying. Pam, going to be the genius that he is, or that she is. But guys, 1,200 HP per hit is redonkulous. And you can almost three-shot a lot of Brawler. I mean, look Look at this barley. This barley with a power cube is basically three shot material from a ranged attack that is super easy to hit. I mean, I think of Polo, I think of Poco screeching solo that does 1200 damage for a single shot. Sandy blows that out of the water with her base attack at 1260. And uh, I mean, it's, it's just really, really strong. It doesn't take a lot of skill to play Sandy in my opinion, at least for the attacks. Like you obviously know how to keep your distance, but being able to spray and pray from a distance has never been easier with another brawler. Let's just keep moving on forward. Sandstorm, we do have in our rotation right now to be able to throw that down. And uh, let's see if we can find a brawler to throw it down with. In fact, everyone's so bent on killing each other that I'm gonna be ending up with this Carl to finish this off, guys, and take a look. This eight power cube Carl, we're gonna go ahead and pop invisibility just like a Leon when we're inside of it. So when we're here, he can't see anything that we're doing, nor our teammates inside of 3v3 and with our star power, that gives us a little bit of extra damage. All right, crippling down this, even six power cubes versus eight, which is super even, we're gonna blast that Carl down in a jiffy. And guys, I think Sandy is gonna be another fairly OP brawler. Okay, let's try some gem grab. Uh, I'll use the next star power inside of our next match, but gem grab truly is where sh Sandy's gonna shine. As a gem carrier, Sandy's gonna be able to throw down with ease, be able to keep your opponents, or to be able to keep yourself invisible alongside your teammates whenever you're trying to get sneaky against your opponents. And having that damage just makes Sandy, it seems like a really reliable brawler. I feel like, especially recently, We've been seeing some pretty strong brawlers enter the game, and uh, I mean, Sandy is going to be near the top of that list. Now, moving forward, let's say I have a Rosa going in and wants to stomp on their enemy team. Rosa is going to be completely invisible, making her way to her opponents. And guys, I don't know about this one. I think that Sandy is going to cause some serious issues. Keep in mind, Sandy is a legendary brawler, so you guys need to get your gems and your chests ready right now. Uh, not your chests, your boxes because this is gonna be a brawler you don't wanna miss out on. I can already see the 10-person Sandy Showdown matches or inside of the new modes, Lone Star and Takedown, they're gonna be wild and uh, Sandy's gonna be ridiculous. And, and not only can you throw your, your Sandstorm down on top of you, which is what I've been doing most of this time, but you can also throw it from a distance against your enemies, which feels sort of unnecessary. I mean, look at this. I can throw it so far out there and completely blind my opponents for when I go inside of that, uh, when I go inside of that storm. Oh man, I mean, this is gonna be, this is gonna be something. I, I know that Sandy might not have that one shot damage potential, being able to blow through a brawl box in like two seconds, but the consistent damage, firing through opponents, plus a super valuable super, guys. And this super is gigantic. Look at the range of this thing. I don't even know an ability that even comes close to this super right here. This is gonna change Brawl Stars as we know it. I'm feeling a little sad for the people who try to get into some 3v3 because this is gonna be Sandy dominant. Besides gem grab, there are some other modes that you can obviously bring Sandy out inside of. I feel like Sandy's gonna be playable in almost every single game mode. Probably actually every single game mode. I guess bounty if you don't wanna go too troll with it, but let's try Sandy inside of Siege. With Sandy's invisibility, I'm a little bit curious to see how that works with the Ike turret. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can use it to actually go invisible. But otherwise, you're still gonna have a lot of control when it comes to the bolts across the map. I think that this is probably gonna be pretty solid. Even if the invisibility doesn't work, safe to say that this is gonna be a pretty solid brawler to take and be consistent. 
I actually threw down my invisibility like a dummy already. Okay, let's charge this up again. Let's take out this, uh, yeah, let's take out this turret right here. Going back onto Cold. A couple of supers coming in here and there. Cold trying to take us down. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some damage done here, and here we go. I'm gonna throw the invisibility down. Let's see if this actually works. This is so troll right now. Looks like everyone's gonna get blasted. I'm, okay, <laughs> There's, that's a good thing that doesn't work. If you could invisible, the entire other side of the map, I think that there's no chance that uh, that Sandy would make its way one day into the game without being nerfed. But already, let's just keep throwing in Sandstorm going down again. That 200 HP tick is ridiculous. And uh, there is another star power that I'm going to show you guys in a second. Though. Okay, let's finish this one up with an easy win. Continually spamming on people. Again, look at how much radius this Sandstorm has. You can fill up almost the entire map if you need to. And, uh, oh man, this is this is gonna be so broken when it comes out instead of the game. I'm excited to see your guys' reactions when you face against it. All right, Siege Bot on the turret. I'm gonna just let it go ahead and do its thing. 1,000 HP a shot should be fine. Poco, who seems like the, the second tier version of Sandy now, is gonna be hanging out there. Honestly, Sandy and Poco, are still such controlling brawlers. Let's go ahead and finish this one off with 19 seconds left, finishing it up with the last siege right here. And again, unfortunately, not gonna get that invisibility to go to the turret, but still gonna end up taking an easy win. 200 damage per second isn't something to scoff at when your opponents have to live inside of it for the duration of that sandstorm, which tends to last a ridiculous amount of time anyways. That's gonna be GG, level nine siege bot coming in, guys. And, uh, oh man, I want to hear what you guys think about Sandy in the comment section below. Are you going to insta-gem Sandy? Are you going to try to see if you can get her from a couple of boxes? Let me know in the comments what you think about this new brawler, but yeah, I'm already getting some serious feels just watching this, and uh, I feel like it's going to end in a disaster when Sandy hits the live game. Okay, that's going to do it for star power number one. Let's move to star power number two, where we're going to be able to check out the other star power that Sandy's able to throw down with. Look Let's peek that right now, and if we just click our little star power icon, it's going to be Healing Winds, which goes ahead and heals all brawlers inside of your Sandstorm for 300 HP. Oh, that is insanely good. Okay, let's try Safe Zone right now. Classic Heist Match. Let's use our heal to keep our teammates alive and see if we can storm down the safe. That is so good. If it lasts for five seconds, that's 1500 HP. If it lasts for 10 seconds, that's 3000 HP inside of your sandstorm while being invisible against the rest of your opponents. I didn't even mean to throw that right there. That was an accident, but we're just gonna start hanging out here. Uh, my teammates are gonna run away from the heals, but 300 HP per second while we're stuck inside of here. Bot number two is gonna be getting it, and this is gonna end in an outright disaster. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves back up right here. 200, 300 a shot for the heals. How could I think that only 200 HP would be the heals right there? We're gonna continue to heal our way through. Pam, man, the invisibility actually looks so cool when it comes to this to the super, by the way. Let's throw down our super one more time for 300 HP a second. And uh, it's safe to say our opponents never had a chance. I mean, I, if I had the other star power, I'd be able to damage down the safe and kill the enemies as they spawn. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's get into one final match showing off Sandy, but I think you guys get the gist right about now. Sandy is going to be a huge nuisance when it comes to the game, and I'm excited to do it. Obviously, being a YouTuber, I'm just going to gem the ever-living body out of Sandy to make sure we get him as soon as he's live inside of the game, but... Ooh, you guys might want to stay away from gem grab if you don't have Sandy because I think things are going to get pretty ugly. All right, final match right here. We're actually playing a totally troll map to play a brawler like Sandy inside of. Let's go ahead and see if we can take some boxes early on and uh, take another showdown victory. I I'm so stoked about the new game modes, by the way. You guys know as a dirty spinner that getting to have two matches that are complete free-for-alls is literally a, a godsend for me. Let's... Probably should have played a little bit more conservatively inside of that one. But as I said, Lone Star and Takedown are coming out. I'm so stoked for those to be inside of the game. And it's going to give me a new twist and a new game mode that you can actually play solo. You don't have to rely on teammates. You can go full solo dolo trying to take out that boss and trying to win with all of those stars. I am so stoked for this update to come out. I've been telling you guys this is one of my favorite updates that have ever been released inside of Brawl Stars since the game went global. And especially if the modes turn out to be really good, this could be the best update ever. I'm really stoked, guys. Let me know what you think about the update coming out below. And of course, let me know your thoughts on Sandy because she is an absolute beast. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and showing some love. Subscribe for some more gameplay coming out tomorrow. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.